Hello there. Have you seen my leather bound books? My rich mahogany? My very deep and intense collection of winery? I'm well read. Hello there. I wanted to do a discussion video today, so here I am. Gonna do a discussion video. Discussing things with you. So Amanda Nelson from the Book Riot made a video about what it means to be well read and that really tickled my rumination station if you know what I mean. Did I really say rumination station? Yes I did. It's obviously a very difficult topic considering how subjective it is. Also I think the term well read sets sort of a hierarchy amongst readers so a lot of people try to stray away from that, which is understandable, but I still think our own definitions of what well-read means is important in some ways, especially amongst readers and booktube. I really like Amanda's definition of well-read, which is actually pretty broad, and what she said was that a well-read person is a person who reads really diversely and reads a lot in a lot of different genres. I very much agree with that, but then I got to thinking a lot, and then I started producing a lot of questions, like who would I consider to be well-read? Would I consider myself to be well-read? Is a person who also reads a lot of YA fiction well-read? Conversely, is a person who only ever reads classics well-read? So after thinking about it a lot, I have developed this idealized, fictional, well-read person in my mind. And by the way, this person probably doesn't exist and they probably have a lot of time on their hands and they are probably also immortal because ain't nobody got time for that. So building off what Amanda said about what a well-read person is, I'm going to add on a few of my other qualifications. So yes, the first qualification I would have to say is Amanda's qualification, which is that a person has to read diversely and seek different genres even if they're not familiar with it. But on top of reading diversely and seeking diverse books, I think it's also important to seek out the books that are not necessarily easy to read, whether that be density or difficulty of the topic. One of those books that you pick up and it sort of takes you a while to get through, but once you get through it you feel like this huge amount of accomplishment by just reading it. Yeah, I'm talking about those types of books. Not only do they have to seek diverse books as well as difficult topics, but I think it would be really important for that person to be able to understand the implications of what they're reading. Because a lot of books have layers and have hidden meanings and metaphors and motifs, and I think it's really incredibly important to be able to understand that. An example of its importance is through the Hunger Games franchise. As most of the people probably watching this video, we live in the first world and we are practically the capital. <laughs> With our own privileges we can be blinded a lot of times and see the Hunger Games as a work of fiction and as a work of romanticized dystopia and we might be blinded to the actual implications of what this work is trying to say. Maybe our economy is taking advantage and exploiting people and making people around the world suffer for our own gain. Like, maybe that's what The Hunger Games is trying to tell us. If The Hunger Games was trying to tell us that message, I think it would be incredibly important to, to know that it was doing that, so that maybe we could understand the work better and ourselves better. I think also a well-read person needs to have a basic understanding of the world around them as well as world history, because it's a fact that books come from different time periods and were written in response to different parts of history, so a well-read person should be a historian, basically. Man, all these qualifications. What is this, the OK Cupid quiz? And of course, I think reading classics is very important. Like, classics are classics for a reason. They have this sort of resonant message and resonant thoughts and ideas that are very important to today in some ways. It also gives you a glimpse of the meditations and the lives of people living during the time that it was written. We can also look to classics as where we came from and why we got to this point. And I wanted to mention that these qualifications don't exclude contemporary popular fiction. Henry James, who was like kind of a big time writer back in the day, so he was a huge writer during the time of the novel revolution. During the time the way the novel was going, people thought it was more for entertainment than it was for enlightenment. The novel was thought of as lower class entertainment. 
similar to how television or movies are kind of viewed now. Well, Henry James had written an argumentative essay about the novel and how it should be respected as a medium for art. So that sort of thinking can be applied now to a lot of contemporary popular fiction. It's sort of arrogant to just cast away popular fiction and say that it's not relevant or it's not important. I very much think that contemporary popular fiction is very important to society and to people in the future. It gives us a glimpse of the mindset of people in this present day and it also includes science fiction and fantasy which oftentimes shows us veiled and difficult truths that we otherwise wouldn't really want to confront ourselves. The last qualification that I've come up with is that a well-read person should seek different perspectives and different voices. We sort of live in a time where media representation is important. It's kind of big-headed and kind of egotistical, but it's sort of a mode of self-actualization. And I think that's extremely critical for people and their sense of self. Not only that, it's also important to read and understand and empathize with these perspectives and these people who are very different from you. Those are my qualifications for a well-read person. Do I consider myself a well-read person? And the answer is no, I definitely do not. First off, I have not read nearly as many books as I think I should. I, mean, I try to read a lot of different genres, but I haven't really gotten into science fiction and fantasy as much as I would like. That's not to say that I don't want to be a well-read person. I very much want to be a well-read person. Instead, I'd consider myself a person in progress to being well read and honestly that's very satisfactory to me. I have like this at least I'm trying mentality so hopefully by the time I'm on my deathbed I can be like yeah I'm well read yo I'm well read. Anyways what do you consider to be a well read person? Is it less strict than my qualifications? I bet it is and good for you if it is. If you want to watch yesterday's video, I did the Would You Rather booktube edition tag, so you could click that at the end of this video and it'll bring you straight to it. Isn't that magical technology? Anyways, I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye! Kickstarter will be down below for Harry Potter TV show.